Time for 96.7 Yes FM Entertainment News. All right, you know, we're about to send a tweet out to Jeremy Lin and say, please, Jeremy, don't do it. <laughs> well, he led the, you know, I, as you know, he led the, he's doing great for the Knicks. Yeah. Just an amazing job, although they lost last night. But the, the rising star uh, point guard truly proved his decision-making skills off the court uh -huh. because he told ESPN, he says, uh, uh, he's not dating Kim Kardashian. No. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't think that uh, you know she's his type. So right. he totally just well, you know, so those rumors and stuff. It's it's she crazy. Like basketball players. And uh, using her friendship with Carmelo Anthony's wife to cozy up to the Harvard graduate. I wouldn't doubt if Kim. I mean, uh, Kim's a total publicity hound. But this guy actually seems grounded. So wow. it's just you know. I mean, she's but she's she wants to date Tim Tebow. You know, she's going to church, so she's got to, you know, I mean, it's all over the place. Allegedly. I mean, yeah. the girl's trying to find something because she's, she's, she's grasping on the straws because since her marriage broke up. So. All yeah. right, so ratings for the X Factor pretty much sucked the entire season. <laughs> so Simon Cowell says, I know, let's have a super finale yeah. featuring the winners of The Voice. American Idol, yeah. and X Factor. Yep, he said maybe the winner of the X Factor USA this year should compete with the winner of The Voice and Idol in a super final. Yeah! Woo! But the problem is the Idol winner will probably be a star by then. So. Well, that's what Nigel Lithgow said, one of the producers of American Idol. Yeah, he's Simon. like, so, so what? You know, For Simon Cowell, I mean, you know, he knows he's down and out here. He, he made a it. bad choice. So He's, he's got to get a, a huge name as a judge. Mm -hmm. There's talk of now Janet Jackson. Yeah, Beyonce. Okay. See, the problem is you have to get a huge name. But see, yeah. when American Idol started, none of those guys were huge. Randy Jackson, who knew Randy? He, he played backup with Journey, you know? Um, you had Simon Cowell, which really was a relative unknown in the States, and then Paula Abdul, washed-up right. 80s singer, choreographer. Right. No, see, now you got to have a huge name. And I'm starting to like the voice, too. Okay, you've heard it. Now, what did it look like? Go to the YesFM YouTube channel now. Get the link at YesFM.com or Facebook. 96.7 YesFM.